The structure relies on a hybrid frame and gull wing swing arm that use steel tubing with aluminum reinforcement in the swing arm pivot area. Sounds backwards, but hey, whatever works right guys? Now, it goes without saying that the front end arrangement really pushes the envelope of production bike design, and while that's obvious at a glance, it goes much further than you might expect. The steering head is set at an uncommonly sharp, 20 degree angle with a surprisingly short 2.9 inches of trail. I realize that some scooters and other pocket bikes run numbers in that same general ballpark, but this is very sharp indeed for a full-size machine. Since the rules are still being written, indeed discovered, for this configuration, I'll go ahead and hazard a guess that the only reason it can get away with steering that short is because of the stability of the Delta setup. Heck, for all I know, that's what the engineers had to do in order to overcome that inherent stability enough that it didn't turn into a resting match at every turn. A 50-50 weight split and 45 degree lean angle provides plenty of agility with a 16.1 inch spread on the front wheels that provides the static stability Delta trike riders are looking for. Wheel diameters are asymmetrical from front to rear, and while the 17 inch rear hoop is fairly standard for sport bikes, the pair of 15 inches up front are pushing the bottom of the range for proper motorcycle use. The USD front stems are doubled up on each side with each pair forming the swords. Ken, referenced in the name. Each side sports a fully adjustable 43mm tube coupled with a 41mm tube, but the real magic is in the dual-axis steering system that allows the forks to articulate and the frame to lean over just like a standard bike. Well, it would be just like a standard bike if standard bikes had twice as much traction stability safety up front. A horizontal monocross shock comes tucked away under the seat with the full array of adjustments to tame the boomerang-shaped swing arm out back. Four pot calibers bite a pair of front brake discs, one on the outside of each of the front wheels, with a 298mm disc and back and abs protection all the way round. One of the things I think a lot of folks are wondering about is how it will handle. Well, I'm happy to report that it counter steers much like a two-wheeler, and thus should have a rather flat learning curve for experienced riders looking to shift to something a little different.